Hi and welcome to our 34th test and measurement video. Right now we're looking at the amazing Tektronix THS3024 oscilloscope. As in other similar instruments, all four analog input channels are isolated from ground and from one another, so you don't have to worry about a high current short circuit if you inadvertently connect one of the probe's ground return leads to a terminal that is referenced to and floats above ground potential. In previous videos, we have discussed the math functionality of this and other oscilloscopes. Today, the focus will shift to the readings capability of the amazing THS3024. This is described in the user's manual as measurements, so we have to understand that readings and measurements refer to the same thing. When starting a new project, it's a good idea to clear the table, so to speak. In this particular instrument, we can press channel 1 to get out of any previous menu options that may confuse the issue. Notice that repeatedly pressing channel 1 toggles between the generic startup screen and input options. Press acquire and waveform options to make sure that normal is highlighted. Then press enter. Press close and then the readings button on the left. For this demonstration, we have connected the channel 1 probe to utility power as accessed via a branch circuit. The probe tip is connected to the black wire and the return lead is connected to the white wire. The channel 2 probe is connected to the same utility power source, but the only difference is that now the probe tip and ground return lead connections are reversed with respect to the branch circuit, black and white wires. Consequently, the two waveforms, as displayed, are shifted one half cycle. Now we're ready to see how readings work. All measurements appear in the information bar across the top of the display. Available readings are volts AC, volts DC, volts AC plus DC, volts peak to peak, amps AC using the current probe, amps DC, amps AC plus DC, phase, frequency, rise time, pulse width, decibels, and duty cycle. Some of these parameters are applicable to digital signals only. As you can see, phase has been selected. The number of degrees between the phase angles of the two voltages at channel 1 and channel 2 inputs will be shown. To clarify the display, press menu off twice so that both waveforms are visible in their entirety. As you can see, in the information bar at the top, the phase angle is displayed, close to 180 degrees. Occasionally, it will vary a degree or so. If you form one of the leads into a coil around a soft iron core, such as a nail, sometimes the increased inductance and corresponding inductive reactance will cause the phase angle, as shown in the information bar, to fluctuate. However, this effect is not very pronounced at the relatively low 60 Hz frequency. At higher RF frequencies, or with fast rise and fall times, as in digital work, this is something that needs to be considered. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically. So check back frequently.